Hey there, Ryan Erlocker here, lawbindingbiker.com. Real quick, this is a wind gauge, temperature gauge, Amazon, about 17 bucks on Prime. I believe it's called a Pet Curry, and uh, it's uh, having some problems with it, getting it going, and I think other problems are ha uh, people are having similar problems, so I'm here to show you uh, how to get it turned on, get the battery installed, and all that kind of stuff, and how to do some quick functions and set it so you're up and going. I got it because I fly a drone a lot and I need to know my wind speeds and it seems to do really good for that once you get it up and running. So it's pretty good size if you compare it to my hand there. That's why I like it. It's very small, very compact. LCD screen. Comes in a box like so. Comes with several things. Bag of course it was in. Came with a wrist lanyard. If you need that I took it off. Also comes with a little bag. In that little bag is a CR2032 battery. So it does come with that, which is nice. And instructions that are so small, you won't be able to read them. First thing you'll note on the back is it says right there, CR2032 battery, but that is not your compartment. What you actually have to do is take this rubber protective case off. It peels off like so, then we can turn it over and you'll actually see right there your actual battery compartment very simple it's just a quarter turn counterclockwise like so this goes up to the top then it has a little cut out there you can stick a knife or a paper clip or whatever you can do that removes your actual battery compartment you can see on the back of it got little plastic uh, catches so to speak those go in a very specific way in here when we're putting it back on one of the things of particular concern is these little tabs down here will be flattened out. There's two of them up in there. You can take a knife or your fingernail and bend them up just a little bit. That's going to be the negative side of the battery. That way they make contact. A lot of people are having that problem, I believe. And then I was having this problem where this tab was actually bent down. This is the part that's supposed to contact the positive side of that little battery. And what it needs to be done is it actually needs to be bent up into the side, so to speak. It's not actually supposed to go under the battery. So make sure it's nice and pressed up flat there. All right, so I've got it up flat. With that said, this top part is the positive side. That's the negative side. Again, your instructions tell you nothing about which way this goes in. But because we bent those tabs up, that's the negative side. Make sure you push it into the side so you're pushing into that tab and you're not bending it back down. All right, and then with it the facing the right way, I'm just pushing in from the side, making sure I'm pushing that tab up against the side snapping it into place there we go there's a little rubber ring that's the weather seal make sure you get that in there this goes back up and again it's just about a quarter turn or so clockwise now that locks it into place so if your unit wasn't turning on that is going to likely be your problem is one of those battery issues that i just showed you way you turn it on is mode hold it for two seconds that brings our power up you can see we have wind speed and temperature on the lc LCD screen right now and if you ever want to get the light going again just hit set that's the backlight right now my temperature is showing Celsius and I want it to be Fahrenheit with the cover removed very simple guys the back there's just a little pinhole and you can take a paper clip or whatever and I'm just just going in that pinhole I'm gonna pop it once and you feel it click now uh, my temperature is in Fahrenheit as you can see all right back in my rubber cover now I want this up here, my wind speed. I don't want it to be in MS or kilometers per hour. There's a whole bunch of, there's uh, knots. I'm going to switch it. So I'm gonna hold my mode button down for a couple seconds. You can see it switched there. So now I'm just gonna hit the set button to roll through the different modes. Kilometers per hour, feet, minutes. There's knots. And then finally miles per hour. And I'll hit mode again, the mode button. That sets it in place. So now I'm reading miles per hour and Fahrenheit, which is where I want it. And to turn the unit off, you simply hit the mode and set buttons at the same time, and it turns it off. So I feel like the unit works pretty good once you get through the little battery compartment issues and get that all loaded up. Out in the field, it's doing pretty good. Is it completely accurate? I doubt it, but it's close enough for what I do for flying drones. I just need to know a general vicinity of what kind of wind I can operate in or what. I might want to operate in, but for the price, 17 bucks and a few fixes, I just thought I would share that with you guys. Hope the video was helpful. Thumbs up, subscribe.